What a sick. Annoyed Megan to whitewash her reputation after difficult and B-word labels. These days, the Duchess of Sussex's ambitions are a little more grandiose than that of a mere English country. Now, the recalcitrant royal seems to have a heart set on being the voice of all women everywhere, unconfined by the constraints of mere geography or taste, for in the latest edition of her egomaniacal archetypes podcast, the performance artist formerly known as Meghan Markle opted to suggest that epithets like her difficult duchess nickname stemmed in part from shock horror, gendered sexism, rather than claims of objectionable personal behaviour. I can't believe she's been given a global platform to air her own personal grievances. Every podcast is all about her, from every tiny bit of criticism she's ever received to anger aimed towards Hollywood as revenge because she never made it there. No matter how many podcasts Megan has trying to justify her rancid, obtuse, destructive, narcissist character, it won't change the girl. She is what she is. Meghan Markle has blasted her nickname, saying that the term is really a code word for bitch. The Duchess of Sussex spoke about being referred to as Duchess Difficult in the latest instalment of her Spotify podcast, Archetypes. During the episode, Meghan never says the word, which she makes very clear is one of her least favourites. The certified word nerd talks about the implications that comes with the word bitch and how it's ultimately tied to women in power. The Duchess begins a conversation with Robin Thede, the creator of a black lady sketch show. In other words, I think what Robin is getting at and what these people are implying when they use that very charged word is that this woman, oh, she's difficult, which is really just a euphemism, or probably not even a euphemism, but really a code word for the B word. Megan discusses how Robin and other women have gone on to reclaim the word with the use of the term bad bitch. The Duchess also references how the comedians use the term during the bad bitch support group sketch on her Emmy winning show. However, Megan doesn't feel the need to reclaim the term, it's just not for her. I mean, for a person who hates the word so much, this is giving me hives, Megan admits after a clip of the sketch runs. As you may have guessed, I have zero interest in reclaiming this term. But these women I respect, whose work I love, a lot of them are entirely comfortable with that. They want to do that, to take the power out of it. In another part of the conversation, Megan unpacks the truth behind bitch. So, perhaps the truth is that labelling a woman the B-word, or as difficult, is often a deflection, a way to hide some of her really awesome qualities, her persistence, her strength, her perseverance, her strong opinion, maybe even her resilience, she says. During her conversation with Victoria, Megan talks about the implications the word bitch has as men often use it in public spaces to discredit women of power. That's what I'm thinking about, maybe that's why I have such a visceral reaction to the word. Maybe it was implanted on a granular level without any of us thinking about it at the time. And so, these stereotypes that were lurking beneath the surface of these characterizations, they just become ingrained in us without any real understanding. Because these were complex women with a range of life experiences and nearly all of whom wielded some kind of power and attempted in some ways to challenge the social order. The mother of two also celebrates how some women are reframing, reclaiming and relinquishing the term. However, she explores the notion that words never hurt when in fact they do and challenges women to find other B words out there to describe them. But what happens when we use that pain to fuel purpose? When the B word is shouted with one intent but you're able to let it go and to remind yourself of all the other words that start with a B that describe you. 